Hey you guys, what's up? My name is Elise. If you are new around here, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're not new, then of course, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I got got. I definitely got got. The Instagram ads, they just got me, y'all. If you are into fashion, women's clothing at all, I'm sure that Instagram has definitely passed a couple of cider ads at you. If you're anything like me, you fell for the trap. I ended up getting a couple things from the websites and I wanna share with you guys what I got. This is my first time trying everything on and seeing how it looks and seeing how the quality feels and all that stuff. Y'all know I'm about to give you the tea. So anyways, y'all, if you are interested in seeing this cider try on haul, then of course, please keep watching. I did get my package already. I won't lie, it took a little longer than I wanted it to. Got here in about three weeks. So I think that's borderline a little long because a lot of times when you're purchasing from fast fashion you're usually getting it under the two week mark so um it took a little longer than that um it's not overboard but just figured i'd mention it to you guys in case you were wanting to shop from them anyways i got a couple pieces i didn't get a ton of stuff because like i said it is my first time shopping from them i didn't want to go too crazy because i didn't know really what to expect as far as quality goes as far as fit goes i like to kind of get my feet wet and just dabble a little first before i go head in and get a ton of stuff so once you get your shipment each item comes individually wrapped in like this giant baggie right here. I shouldn't say giant, it's not really giant. It's just a regular size baggie with their logo right here. I am very much a fan of websites that do this. Shein does this and a couple other stores do it. And I do find it to be extremely helpful, especially because you can always recycle these baggies. And I love to use these particularly when I travel or when I go somewhere or just go on a weekend trip or a day trip or if I'm just gonna go out and take content and take pictures of myself because these little baggies help keep you organized so that's a little hack right there and a major tip um, keep your baggies okay keep them don't toss them out because you can store a whole outfit in here in most cases whether it's a dress um, some accessories and then just carry your shoes on the side and then you don't have to worry about just throwing your clothes everywhere you can keep it nice and organized They're in their own little baggies so the first thing that I got here is this solid zip up hoodie dress so this is what it looks like I really like the way that it looks one thing that I also wanted to mention is on their website they don't really have any models like the only time you kind of see someone modeling the clothing it seems like to me and this is my encounter my first encounter with this website um, their main photo is always just like a standstill Main photo is always just like the item on its own with a white background with no not on anyone's body and then sometimes um i notice when i was shopping if you just keep scrolling through the photos you can tell they're reposting photos that like people have taken of themselves with the item on on instagram or something like that so that's just my impression whenever i'm shopping so that's just one thing to keep in mind because let's be honest a lot of times it is really helpful to see clothing on a body whether it's you know a fashion nova body or a real body i mean i'm not i'm not y'all let me stop let me stop we're not ready to have this conversation right now something to keep in mind usually the item is just posed up on its own against a white background so it is ribbed and it does feel very stretchy just initial first thought it does feel really good it doesn't feel too too thin like it doesn't feel cheap it was very fairly priced i think i paid like 20 dollars for this um so that's not bad at all it does have these little contours here on the breasts to help kind of like shape your body out it looks like i really like the fact that it has a hood because it just gives it a little bit more of a casual laid back look so really excited to try this one on here is the hoodie dress um it is thinner like i had said earlier it does definitely feel thinner i would say if you're curvier you're gonna want to size up i got a small in this dress and i definitely could have gotten a medium and i think i would have preferred a medium because i would like this type of dress to fit me a little bit less snug um it's not a bad dress at all i actually really like it i just wish it wasn't as snug as it is it is on the thinner side like I had said so you're gonna want to be careful what kind of underwear you're wearing because I do see a very faint underwear line here you I don't think it's anything that can be picked up on camera but I do have a very faint penny line I'm gonna give this dress a four out of five because it's a little thinner than I think I wanted it to be um, and because of the fact that it does have silver hardware and this is a personal preference thing but I prefer gold hardware on everything I'm a gold kind of girl having this silver like zipper on here it's a little off-putting for my jewelry taste so but again that is a personal preference thing it is stretchy but still I, f I feel a lot more comfortable in a medium of this dress for sure um but if you like it and you're looking at it on the website and you're in between sizes it's not a bad idea to size up I do like the hoodie as well. The hoodie is a nice little detail. It's probably my favorite part about this dress. Standing firm at a four out of five. I really, really like it. Just some small little things that I wish were better on it. I have a ruched brown dress. Ooh, I don't like this quality. 
so it is super duper wrinkled and i'm i'm gonna just keep it real i'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all i do not have time to be steaming and ironing right now so y'all gonna get what you get okay okay i hope y'all ain't mad at me but like i'm not really gonna stop this video to go iron package <laughs> but this is just a ruched seems like a midi dress it's brown it has a slit here to allow you to show some leg it is ruched all going down the dress and it is a square neckline this feels extremely thin extremely thin so honestly i don't love the quality on this one it's giving very much shein and not that there's anything wrong with shein because y'all know i love me a good shein haul i do however if i'm gonna shop from shein i'm gonna shop from shein i don't want to shop from a website that's a little bit more expensive and get shein quality you know what i'm saying and again it's not a dig at shein i just feel like this could have been better quality I don't know if it's going to give body yada yada once it's on now. I don't know if it's going to give what it needs to give when it's on. But just that first impression, it is a lot thinner and kind of cheaper quality. Sorry to say it than I expected it to be. All right, you guys. So here we have the brown dress. For some reason, I thought it was a square neckline. But it keeps, like, falling on this side. So I don't know. Is it asymmetrical? I'm not really sure what's going on. I do like the idea of this dress. So I'll start there. I feel like the ruching is a spot on idea. I feel like the slit leg here is another really nice detail that this dress has. Also love the fact that it has adjustable straps because you know, it's always nice to be able. Oh, you know what? Maybe that's what's going on here. Maybe the strap is more adjusted than this one. And that's why it's looking like that hold on um but yeah it does have adjustable straps which is nice and usually something that most women really appreciate on dresses and shirts of any type of spaghetti strap however my predictions as far as this dress being too thin are definitely holding true my panties are very much not exactly sure how much you guys can see through the camera but I can definitely see and feel my panties very, very, very clearly. So I just know that for a fact. That's going to be something that's a little annoying. If I could put it into words, this is kind of like a slinky dress. Like, you know those slinky type of dresses that just feel really stretchy and like really thin? That's how this dress feels. So the quality is definitely not 100% there. Right idea, wrong quality. This one gets a 2 out of 5 for sure because I'd wear it. But, um... It's not my favorite. So this is a diamond lattice wool cardigan right here. It is cropped. I don't have anything like this. I try to always, I mean, I keep saying that, but to be honest, I really try to shop for things that I don't have a whole lot of just to give some variety to my wardrobe. I think this would be really perfect for the springtime. And it is really, really nice thick quality. So it feels really, really great. So, so far, the only real miss has been the brown dress as far as the feel, right? Not the fit, the feel has been the brown dress. This feels really nice and thick quality it is in a size small so it is very much true to size it does give you kind of like a balloon effect on the sleeve because a little it because it is a little bit more cinched here at the wrist nevertheless really cute it is a thicker type of quality but you can tell the quality is there on this piece feels expensive and i like that so i really really like this sweater and i really have no complaints about it what i'm most excited for because this is definitely like the most random thing that i could have gotten but this is just a velvet olive ruched dress right here this is velvet y'all one thing about velvet is baby it's making a comeback okay so do not be afraid to buy yourself some velvet material 2022 i feel like in fashion it's all about textures your sherpas your velvets your faux leather like it's all about texture so yeah even though i'm not a huge fan of velvets per se i do want to have a nice little velvet moment just because you never know perfect for them days when bae says girl get ready i'm gonna take you out to eat this paired with some long strappy heels or even some basic heels would be to die for i just feel like i really hope this fits me the way i envision it'll fit me you can tell that you can wear it like this and you can also wear it off the shoulders really really good quality and it looks like it has some decent stretch to it as well so i actually really love this dress you guys it feels amazing it looks really really good as well it's very flattering on the body it's making my butt look great which i'm not complaining about that really cinching me up really nicely it looks really really good you guys honestly i have no complaints about this dress i'm gonna give this one a five out of five because the fit is great i love the way it looks it feels a lot more luxurious and expensive than it truly was and this ruching i mean can we talk about this ruching the ruching is so forgiving and it really does a great job at hiding 
any chichos or any love handles or any fupa or any area that you are a little bit insecure or uncomfortable about, this dress will definitely be here to give you body yaddy yaddy. But I kind of feel like it's a lot more vibey, giving a little bit of off the shoulder. You know what I'm saying? This with the right heels and the right purse or clutch is definitely a moment. Um, it does have really nice sleeves as well. The sleeves carry on that ruching detail. Um, and overall, this dress just looks and feels so much more high quality. I really, really love this one and I just feel so freaking cute in it. It's definitely giving. This dress is definitely giving and that's all period. And that is gonna wrap up this Cider Try On Haul. Some of the pieces are definitely giving Shein vibes and then others are giving very much a Zara vibes. So it really just depends what you're getting from their website. I'd say just be really careful, read up on the material and if there are any reviews on YouTube, look into that as well before you make a purchase on Cider. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up so that I know that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out the description box where I will have everything linked and if I can't find it linked that means it's going to be sold out but I will try to find something similar for you guys as always I want to thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video and to watch me and support me because I really couldn't do it without you um I want to thank you for what <clears throat> my voice my voice <clears throat> um, but yeah you guys thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video bye